Hey, my i7 is better than your Roomba S9. That i7 is last year's model. Everyone wants the latest and greatest. It beat basically every test that the Roomba S9 did. Your i7 loses suction over time. Take that back. I know that my i7 is better than yours. Just admit, the Roomba S9 has a better side brush, higher airflow, better battery life, just basically a better robot. There's nothing wrong with coming out second best. Even though it doesn't clean anything, it's still a robot. My Roomba i7's been out longer and has less bugs. I've been out for two months now and my software updates have been rock solid. Why am I even arguing with the stuffed animal? I'm crazy. Hello, welcome to Robot Masters. My name's Nathan. You guys are all having a wonderful day. And today we got a new spot clean test with the Roomba S9 versus the Roomba i7. So my daughter decided to help me today. She's been watching a lot of my YouTube videos and really likes participating. We're going to go ahead and vacuum out the robots and then we're going to check out the dry weight of the dustbins. Just push the on button. Okay. Wait for it. She does really well following instructions and she was able to work the scale no problem. I think she can just take over my YouTube channel because she did a lot better measuring out the material than I did. So if you haven't checked out my Roblox S5 video or the Roomba S9 spot clean video, I will post that down in the description below. So it's the same test where I put out one ounce of granola and see how much the robot can pick up. I also weigh it before and after of the dustbin. So I've been getting a lot of requests doing a head-to-head -head spot clean video with the Roomba S9 and i7. So I decided to put both robots together and we'll see if the S9 can outperform okay. the Roomba i7. Now, we are going to tear it. So you want to put the dustbin on? So they can see. Okay. It looks like 11.22. Now let's get the other one. Eight point four two zero. Okay, so that should be it. Keep in mind that the i7 just has slightly less airflow, but sits up higher and has the same dual extractor design. Go, you guys ready? So I put the blue towel down to help divide the two robots and to help prevent the scattered debris from going on to the other side. I quickly realized that the robots would collide into the towel and obscure the testing so I removed the towel. The testing is still accurate, I was still able to figure out how much these robots were able to pick up. So if you liked the video, please smash the like button. I do look at the YouTube analytics and gauge if this video is successful or not based on the comments and views I get. So I want to share my passion about these robot vacuums. I've always had a love for robot vacuums or anything technology. I'm a type of person that carries three or four smartphones on me at all times. I also have a couple smartwatches, so I'm definitely the kind of techno geek type of person. I always like testing out new technology as well. So this channel is ultimately for you guys so I can show you all the cool robot vacuums out there and also I want to provide you with top quality mm -hmm. videos okay the moment of truth should I stop the video here and let you guys guess which one's the winner hmm maybe I should am I gonna pause it nah I won't do that to you guys let's go ahead and check the results so we'll start with the Roomba i7 so despite this fast spinning side brush on the i7, it actually did a really good job at 97% pickup rate. Good job i7, I guess you can stay for now. Okay, if you watched my Roomba S9 video, this thing blew everything out of the water. Let's see if it can do the same impressive test like before. Remember, it got a 101% score last time. Okay, let's see what it got. Drum roll please. It 22.21 ounces. 
So 99% for the Roomba S9 isn't too bad. Keep in mind that it did 101% in its individual testing. And also the i7 did it really well as well. So what do you guys think? If you like Robot Master's channel, please subscribe. I gave you an extra bonus point with a super carrot. This is literally one year's worth of vegetables. I and get it then. Yeah, that's my daughter's stuffed animal bin. The reason why you should subscribe to Robot Masters is I provide daily videos of cool robot vacuums. This is the only channel I can think of that does this. Also, I provide in-depth reviews, unboxings, overviews. I do extreme testing. I did a 25 pound bag of rice to see how well the Roomba is picked up and check out that test. It was really impressive results. Uh, I also do a teardown to um, see how big the batteries are on the robot vacuums. See you guys next time. Thank you.